morning, everyone. It's Karen Jean. Welcome back to the channel. This is... I'm doing an intro to this video because the, the video that follows this short introduction is me making coin envelopes and me making a lot of mistakes in making the coin envelopes. So uh, the following video is a don't do what I do kind of video. But at the same time, it's taken me like five times to record this intro because I've been having problems with my phone. So I just, I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm just, I'm done. I hope you enjoy the video. I hope you learn something for it from it. I hope it brings you some laughter above all else. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you next time. Hello, it's Karen Jean. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I uh, can keep that out. All right, what we're going to do now is we have these two 12 by 12s, and I decided to make the gusseted coin envelopes with these. Now, I have my instructions here. This is from Firefly Studios. I actually saw this from Dawn at the Book Vandal shop about three years ago. I watched Dawn at the Book Vandal shop do this, and she said she got it from Firefly Studios. I have it all written down. It's been a while. I'm going to keep them here. And what I like to do is mix and match them, right? So we have three pieces. Uh, one is three and a quarter by 12. One is, and this is the gussets. We have A, B, and C. Three and a quarter by 12. The gussets, one and a half by three and seven eighths. C is three and a quarter by three because there's an outside pocket, I think, that gets put on it. And then this is where you score them, A, B, and C. So, three and a quarter by 12. And this is 12. So we're going to do, ouch, three and a quarter. There's three and a quarter by 12. I'm just cutting them both down. That's a rather narrow pocket. No, I'm going to make them wider. All right, I'm going to make them, I'm going to make them here. I think that's, that's three and a half. That's three and three quarters or four. Uh, it's about four because I'd rather have a wider pocket. The page is five and a half. Let's do four and a half. Let's make them really wide. Let's do four and a half. Um, let's do four and a half. There we go. There are, there are about four and a half. Uh, okay. And and throw everything over there. Um, so C, we did four and a half. We'll just do this. It's a little bit narrower, that's fine. By three, that's fine. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming, I shouldn't, but I'm assuming that that is going to be the pocket on the outside. You never know. All right, and let's use this. We're going to gusset. We need uh, one and a half by three and seven eighths. Um, one and a half by three and seven eighths. I'm going to wait on cutting the gussets because, well, no, it's 12 inches, so one and a half by three and seven eighths. Okay. Uh, one and a half, one and a half. Uh, yeah, no. All right, so three and, let's just do this, three and seven eighths. Let's do, let's do that one. It's, we'll cut it down if we need to. Um, one and a half. Okay. All right. I'm going to have to get out my large scoreboard for this. Now, these are our pieces. Now, we're scoring the big ones here. We're scoring them at one and three quarters. Let me get 
one and three quarters there. Uh, five and three quarters, five and three quarters there. And I have both sheets of paper here. That's why I'm pressing hard. Ten and three eighths, ten and three eighths are there. And ten and a half, ten and a half is there. That is the, um, I think that's the top fold over piece. Boom. Okay, so that's all that. Okay, that's A. Whoops. All right, that's A. B are the gussets. B are the gussets. B. Three eighths, three quarters, and one and an eighth. That makes no sense to me. Oh, because it's a, um, it's a Z fold. That's why. Okay. Three eighths. I don't know if you can see down here. Sorry guys. Three eighths is there. That's because it's like a Z or an M fold. I remember now. It's all coming back to me now. Uh, three quarters. Yeah. I remember now. And one and an eighth. Yep. I remember it well. But actually, I need... I need two more of these. I need two more of those. I do. All right. Uh, I will cut them in a minute. And here is the, and this one we're just doing a quarter inch on all sides. So, quarter inch, uh, quarter. More or less, more or less, and a quarter inch. And let me put a reminder here uh, times two, because I need one for each side. So, all right, let's put this aside. And once again, I need, oh, here we go, this will work. Uh, One and a half. Let's do it here. One and a half. One and a half. Okay. Uh, and three eighths, three quarters, and one and an eighth. which is straight down the middle, and one and an eighth. There. Okay. Those actually fit a little better. Okie dokie. So what we do now is we fold. So this is going to be folded up like this. This is that center gusset. This is going to be folded down. This one gets folded down. And then this gets folded down on the one line. This is where the double gusset is. And then again, because it's gonna have that tiny little eighth to do that. And then this, uh, let's do our, once again, here it goes. We're going to cut it there. We're going to cut it there. We're going to cut it there. We're going to cut it, whoops, there. And we're going to fold it over where the gusset is. And this is going to be the pocket on the outside. Right, right, right. And 
there. And that's the pocket that goes here. That's the pocket that goes here. Um, now let me think about how I want to do this. I can... Hold on. Let's get this over. The gussets. Gussets, gussets, gussets. Gussets. It'd be a bit long. So we're going to cut them right here. Okay. And it gets folded like this into a W or an M. Now, the way I'm doing it is I want to make sure that the white side is what's glued here so that the printed side is showing on the outside, okay? So let's see if we still have... Oh, heavens to Betsy. We do not. We do not. We do not. Why would we? I'm going to have to see if there's another plug or something on the inside of that. Okay, so there's that. And there's that. And we're placing it. Let's make sure we're placing it correctly there. Placing it there, like so. And this one, so I'm folding it in half with the um, pretty side on the outside and then folding in the wings, folding the wings up. And gluing down one side here. And goes here like that on the edge as much as I possibly can make it. And then I'm going to put the glue on the outside here and I might have to re-glue this one because this glue might have already dried somewhat. And just folding it in, folding it over. Come on, come on, come on. There and there like so, like so, right? So we're seeing the pretty side of the paper. And then this gets folded down and this is here. And then we're gonna do circles. Um, I don't, I think what I might do here, I don't know, I'll have to think about that. Maybe, um, because, all right, where's the pocket? Here's our pocket, which is gonna go here. I'm going to notch it, notch the pocket, notch the pocket, there for the outside, and this, this is a self-gusseted pocket, right, right, it's easy to make a self-gusseted pocket if you think about it beforehand, and this is going to go straight down there, okay. Now this, I'm just going to put this aside right now because what I'm thinking is I might actually cover this with some of the tissue paper to just get rid of the white. You know what I mean? Where are my circle punches? My circle. Oh, where are my circles? Here they are. Let's see what we got. I don't know if I have anything that's going to match the. Oh, look at that. That'll match. Might be too big though. I need, honestly, 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 I have that one. Let's see what else we have in here. I 
I'm going to, I need uh, four of them and I'm going to need to uh, cut them. Oh, there's one. Oh, look, there's one. We could use that. Uh, there's another one. I need four. Let's see what else we have in here. Oh, these are our clocks. Oh, I'm not going to put a clock in there. Pull that one out for now. I'd like another one of the. Oh, well, well, well. No, I have a lot of those. I don't need that many of those. I need four. Okay. Uh, Shucky darn. I wish I had more of that. Okay. So, I need these to be smaller. I could do this one and I can make this one smaller on top of it. Mm. That one. And that one. Hold on. Okay. Right. And now I need two more of those. I know I have them in here because I just saw a bunch of them in here. Uh, well, that's kind of that one and that one. Okay. And this is to make, oh, hello. I got three of them out. I don't want that one. Put this back. Now I could use Brad's. I could use Brad's, which is what I'm going to have to use. Okay. This is how I am going to do it. Right. I'm going to go get Brad's. Um, because the string needs to be wrapped around something. I actually might have to go smaller on both of them. Hold on. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's see. This one is kind of stuck. I don't know if it's because I hardly use it or it's because if there's glue or something in there. Anything's possible. Come on, you. I have WD-40. Maybe I might need to use that. All right, like that, because that's just might be too big. So we might need to do a smaller one like that. Smaller one like that, or a larger one like that. This large one takes up the whole thing. That's my issue. I could also do it out of this, as opposed to that. I could do that there. As, a, as opposed to that. 
All right, yeah, let's do that. Okay, so one, two. Three, four. Okay, one, two, three, four. And we're using uh, we're using this. I wonder if I can do it, get two out of one circle. I can. I don't think I can get three out of one circle, though. All right. Well, one, two, three. Four. Come on. Okay. Ouch. So we're going to put these away. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right. There we go. And now, uh, brads, brads, daggum brads. <sighs> right there. Here, squish it down further. So that this can go in and out like that. Um, and actually what I might wind up doing is ay, 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 peeling this off. Yes, I know I glued it down. I'm peeling it off. Oh. And I just use brads instead of eyelets. I already made this one a mess, but that's okay. Let's see if we can get this glued down there. Before I press down on it, I want to get this string under here. Okay, now flatten it out. There. Put the eyelets away. There. Ooh. Let's see if we can do just a little notch here to clear that there. And I'm going to knot this once, bring it around to the other side and knot it again. Make sure that that is and I'm going to cut it underneath here. There. So that it's not mistaken for an end. And there. Okay, so there's one. Ugh. Now I'm going to round my corners to a quarter of an inch, quarter of an inch, whoops, 
use this smaller one. I'm going to not round these corners yet. What I will do here is I will notch it first. Um, just put a little clearance notch there. So that I know where I'm putting stuff. And I need another white circle. Fine. And I need these two. be green. Hello, hello. Okay, and I will instead of using that, I will use my this I will have better luck getting this in the center. There's one. And here's two. Okay. Okie dokie. Now, whoops. Right up top. Okay, this is our right up top, squish it down, and this is our bottom brad. Where's the other hole? This paper slipped there. And this is our bottom brad, which we will Throw some glue down on. To, oh, no, not dagnab it, dagnab it. All right, let me wash, listen to me wash. Let me wipe that glue off for just a second because I want to cover this with this. Where's that little piece? Oh, here it is. Here it is. Right. I wonder if I did put it on here first and then cut it down. That might be that might be a better thing. Let's see if I can get it with my fingernails. There. Now I'm going to whoosh, got a bit of a wrinkle there. Okay. this off. Uh, 
Alrighty. This was not the best idea because the tissue paper is curling up into itself. Oh, dag nabbit. I should have done it. The, oh. I'm not happy about that, but there's nothing much I can do about it at the moment. I am going to... Here. Hold on. Pulled up. There it is. Okay. Let's see what we can do. Do it there. crooked. It's crooked, but mm. That is glue, and I'm using my regular scissors to cut it. All right. Okay, let's let's try this again, shall we? Get a piece of tissue paper. Watch, I didn't cut it big enough. Sure enough, didn't. Oh, for sakes. Honestly, I'm a bit frazzled. Truth be told, I'm a bit frazzled. I'm going to take this to the iron. Okay. I took it to the iron. I trimmed it up just on two sides. Okay. Now, I'm going to have to do it this way. Ay, 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 ay. Let's trim it up here. Trim it off here. And get it off my finger and trim it off here. No.
All right. Ay. Get our corners rounded. Nope, that didn't work. Get our corners rounded. Okay, and once again, where's our little... Have to wind up all the way over there. Ah, for heaven's sake. All right. I am first going to get the string tied. Why am I having trouble doing this? I don't know. It's just one of those afternoons, I guess. Oh my goodness. Okay, there's that way. Let's wrap it around and do it on the other side. My fingers have so much dried glue on them that I can barely feel anything. Oh. Okay. Okay, and now let's try this again, shall we? Oh, right there. Right there. Where's the other one? Oh, for heaven's sakes. As this mess to my left just comes tumbling down. Okay. Now. Let's see what we have here. And let's see where we want to put them. Um, we can put it here, right? Oops. We can put it here. Okay, we're not we're not gusseting this though as a back pocket. We're just doing this. There. And there is our First coin envelope, right, right there. What's going on here? Why is it not? Because the glue seeped out. Oh, there, there. Oof. Okay, that released. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. All right, so there's a gusseted pocket. You have a little pocket there. Boom chakalaka. And now, maybe I was supposed to put that down there. I think I was. Look at this. Ay, ay, ay. I can't deal with my life.
and uh, we're going to need to put something there now. I'll figure that out in a minute. All right, we're gonna have to figure out that. Um, do a gust of the pocket here. Could do a gust of the pocket here. envelope. Let's do a coin envelope here. That'll fit there. Okay, so we're going to put this there. Oh, well, that's not even in there yet, so, okay, fine. Let's do it here. Oh. There. Okay, well, this was did not go as I had anticipated. Okay. That is simply because I forgot what I was doing.
but all right there's nothing more we can do because that glue needs to dry so uh this is another episode of learn from my mistakes <laughs> i'm not going to cut any of that out well i might have to cut some some stuff out to speed it along but i am uh, going to keep all the mistakes in so uh, this is Karen Jean from Ex Libris Crafts. Don't do what I did. <laughs> when you're making a coin envelope, make sure that the bottom closure is on the bottom. Otherwise, it's just not going to... Let's make sure this one opens. That one opens. Let's make sure this one opens. Uh, yeah, that one's opening. Wait a second. There. And, yeah, okay. And, yes, and yes, okay. <laughs> well, what can I say? Mistakes and all. Thank you so much for spending your valuable time with me. I hope this inspires you to do better than me. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you next time.